Hello and welcome to another Elf and Elf Mystery 80s Elf Club. You join me today at St Revels Castle, which is uh, in Gloucestershire. And uh, we're going to take a little look around the outside. This castle's now a youth hostel and it's run by English Heritage. Now I always love coming to castles because they have lots of grisly little stories and uh, little ghost stories like that attached to them. And this castle is no different. Uh, there's quite a good little story, a grisly one, and we'll uh, get to that in a minute. So let's take a little look around the outside now, shall we? Now, this castle was one of the, uh, the log hunting lodges of King John. It was one of his favourites. And uh, it's nice to see here that archery is still practised at this uh, particular castle. I believe it's still on stature books that males over 14 should practise archery at least once a week. I must admit I've fallen foul of that. I've not practised archery at all. I do apologise for that. But uh, yeah, there's quite high walls here and it's sort of within its own little keep. Now one of the ideas of these castles was to um, establish a strong English presence and show the Welsh who was boss. Um, there's many castles all along, all along the border and that sort of showed our dominance of the Welsh at the time. Anyway, Let's go and have a, a little look round some more, shall we? There's a set of stocks here. Now, these don't look like they're original. Uh, they're probably just put here for aesthetic purposes, but uh, it keeps in tradition, it keeps in line with it. More interestingly is this fireplace here. Now, th this does look like it's a, an original one. You can actually set, step inside it. You want to step inside now. And there's actually dates on these stones here. 1979 stones, and you can see right up in the through the chimney there. Wonder if they used to send a little lad up there with a brush cleaning it. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll move on because this is supposedly one of the most haunted castles in England. Um, I know my wife's actually stayed here with the school when she she sort of worked down south. And she said it was rather eerie in there. Anyway, let's go on, shall we? Now that really grisly story I'm going to tell you about happened in this entrance where. And what happened was, the enemy marched in through those doors. These doors was actually closed, that ran across here. And then somebody ran round there and closed the door on them. So they was actually trapped in this area. And then what they did was from either side, it was like a strong ball advert, they was firing arrows at them. And they just kept doing it until nobody was moving and everyone was dead in the area and they probably fired some into them just for good measure as well pretty grisly but that's what I loved about those days these pour boiling hot oil over your enemy and everything there's no such thing as like the United Nations coming in and telling them not to do anything they just do what they wanted anyway let's have a look around the outside now here you can see how they've actually been built these walls where they've used rougher stones inside and then they've put some kind of decentish facework on it Sort of early concrete type thing that. And obviously it's been patched up over the years and English Heritage have done a fine job on it but you can see how it's been built, you know, rough stone at the back and uh, like I said, this type of thing's face work. I should imagine uh, it employed quite a few people building these castles. Now what's rather strange here is how this sort of castle has morphed into a manor house type thing. It's as though through the ages there's been different styles imposed on the building. I mean it does make it interesting but uh, there's probably all kinds of influences throughout the ages on it though. I'm 
go to the front of the castle and as you can see it's a very impressive entrance way. The idea of castles was to have an impressive entrance way and that way you would always uh, impress on your enemy or you know anyone who was really a little bit dodgy what a strong person you was. You might just have a little ice at the back of there or a shed but when they saw that entrance way it was grand and this one's no different. Now, a funny little story about castles. When glass was started coming in, started becoming popular, it was always uh, very expensive. So what they used to do in the owners was actually take the windows out and take them with them, and uh, leave the poor servants with just a bit of sackcloth over the opening. But imagine carting your windows around all over the place. But that's what they actually did back then. I'm sat in a chair that's been carved out of a tree trunk in the shape of the devil. Rather at me sitting here, I think. My wife will certainly say that anyway. I'll just get up and you can have a look at the uh, intricacy in it. Well, that was uh, St. Breville's Castle. It's a pity we couldn't get inside really because judging from the little bits as we've seen through the windows it looks a lovely place and my wife does state it is a nice place inside. As I say it is a youth hostel and you can book an night here. But uh, that's it, that's just been our little loop round it. So hopefully find catch us again and until the next time, bye bye for now.